Hello everybody and welcome back to Smallfiend Folia. We are jumping in again. In the last episode, we played Ascent and Andromeda and won one of the worst runs I've ever played. It was just shocking in every way. Um, we are going to play... Do you know what? No. I'm randomizing my character. People want me to play more deleted, so I'm going to play more deleted. It's going to be done. Uh, this time, I don't know who we're going to go as. Let's um, let's see. I don't I don't remember. I, there's a few of them that I don't have the thumbnail for. So I'm, let me go and check who I have the thumbnail for. There's, I have the thumbnail for most of them, but there's like a few that I don't. Right. Let's have a little look-see. Um, we've got Jerusalem going. we got Spyware. We've got um, I Love You. We've got Zip Bomber. Um, Morris. VCS. Right. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? So Bitflip. Excuse me, game. Bitflip. VCS, custom, um, custom mode, customized settings. Oh, interesting. Um, these are locked. This is random. That's the default. I love you. Red hearts only. Corrupted items no longer have negative effects. Oh, boy, that could be bonkers. Um, start with the D14, a six room charge pocket item which corrupts one, uh, one room only. Kind of interesting. Zip bomber. No corrupted items. Use extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. Hmm. Um, we got the crypt locker. No red hearts. Corrupted effects are concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. Oh no. Uh, deleted is stuck in corrupted form. Use clean to reverse the corruption. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's try that one. Uh, we do have spyware, right? Again, let me check. We do have spyware. We do have spyware. Good. Thank you, never named. You legend. Anyways, we are stuck in corrupted form. And basically, I'm guessing that means every item we see will be corrupted. And we can cleanse an item using um, our active item if we wish. Which sounds kind of fun. But yeah, everyone liked the Hiradicum, whatever the hell you pronounce that with. So, and people asked for more deleted. So I'm doing more deleted. I realized that the backlog does mean that this is going to be quite a while after that video, but that video has only just been released for me, so I apologize. So, let's have a little look-see. Upon getting, upon, upon the next floor, get uh, mini bombs until hit, spawn eight golden hearts, use a pill, and I mean, that seems absolutely fine by me. Holy. Beautiful. That's a lot of extra money. We also have a few miser hearts here that we unfortunately cannot pick up, which is a slight shame. But I'll be taking, basically I'll be taking every corrupted item I can unless it will actually kill me. And I think, I think that's the way we're going to play this. We're not going to cleanse much. I'm going to be taking a lot of corrupted effects. Um, and on the, um... On the on the the theme of corruption, let's build in today's um, today's question of the day to that somehow. I don't quite know how yet, but something to do with corruption. Oh, is that a new enemy? I've not seen that guy before. He's either new or I've just never seen him. But yeah, he's different. I like him. He flops on the floor. He he do the flop. He still damages when his dead body is left around. Did not know that. I don't know why I decided to walk directly into it. I feel like maybe it was just something to do with, oh, look, there's something on the floor. Touch it. Yeah, these guys must be new. Like, I've never seen them, and now there's loads of them about. I do not like this. Oh, God. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. So much money. Holy... But yeah, okay, so for the question of the day, what's some corruption that you've witnessed? Some level of corruption, whether it be in your government or even between your friend group and your family. I don't know. What's some interesting corruption that you've witnessed? I genuinely don't know if I have an example of that for myself. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll ask a question of the day and then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have, a, I don't have any example here. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, I'm kind of supposed to have an example to talk about. That's usually the point of the question of the day. It gives me a good jumping off point for the commentary. But I've stuck myself in this horrible situation of not actually having anything to say. Great. Because, yeah, I don't really know. I'm not someone that's very into politics or anything like that. Like, I, I vote, but I, I, I'll i be honest. I'm one of those people that most people don't like. That I just vote for the, to the smart people tell me to. Because I don't understand what's going on. 
which is probably a reason to just either spoil my ballot or spoil spoil my ballot or not vote at all. But the smart people that I know in my life, such as my girlfriend and friends, know what they're talking about, so I'll trust them. They know what's good for me. I don't want to spend the time to learn what's good for me, but otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Probably um, not the greatest idea, but hey her, it is what it is. Yeah, I've never really been that interested in politics at all, to be honest. Right. We do have a shop in here. We've got the genie lamp, which is damage. Yeah, that seems great. That's just a lot of damage. And then we've also got spawn nine coins and get the... Ooh, is this, is, this is a good trinket, this, isn't it? Ye oh, no, it's not a good trinket when it's on the floor. Grab that. I'm going to grab that as well. Why not? And we got a boss disc as well. Yeah, I'll hold the boss disc. So far, pretty happy. We've got, we've got some corrupted items here, but one of them was just, like, a huge damage up. I can definitely get behind that. Also, I want to see if I can pick up any more Miser Hearts. Yes! There you go, beautiful. Miser Hearts are going to make things cheaper, and I believe when they get de depleted, they also re-roll stuff. Oh, this is an XL floor. I did not know that. Um, we can go back and get another item room. We should probably go and do that, shouldn't we? Da, 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 da. We have a Whirling Leech costume. I don't know where that's coming from. The costumes with this guy can be a bit glitchy, a bit weird. I like this room for this uh, this boss. Trying to kill the little guy first, but it's not always plausible. That wasn't a great hit by me there, was it? What we got here? Every kill, 27% chance. Yep, I'll take it. Why not? Um, Right. I should probably do this while we've got the additional boss items. Oh, uh, maybe we got Whirling Leech from our... um. For my additional boss item, because actually, I've actually got leeches here. Wow, that killed you fast. Use Queen of Hearts um, card and get Blasting Cap. Wasn't very good, but I'll take it. Like I said, we're going to be taking pretty much all the corrupted items we possibly can here, because fun. And yeah, peeps, peeps, basically someone suggested that I should do a streak of deleted where I just play like all the forms of deleted. I actually really like that idea. And if everyone else likes that idea, then I'll do it. Also, that casing thing that we got, whatever that does seem to... I don't know what this trinket does, but it's very good. <laughs> uh, okay. Every eight rooms get three little horns until next floor. Uh, I'll... Whatever that one's called. Get uh, Lit Bulb. Every four hits, 5% chance. Okay, that's a really good item. I also don't know what this 10 heart thing did. That seems weird. I'm, I have absolutely no idea what I've gained from that. Uh, I just got plus 10 heart a bunch of times. Quite confused by that, to be honest. Did we have a reroll machine in here? We did not. Okay. Right, let's go. We've had absolutely zero reason to use Cleanse so far, which I fucking love. <laughs> I love the fact that there's no reason for us to use cleanse yet. That's great. But this brass casing, golden casing, trinket, whatever it is, it seems to damage every enemy in the room upon gaining it, um, which is going to be really strong. <laughs> oh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, we gained the pinball item upon going to the next floor. I love pinball. It's such a good item. I thought it was the uh, Mum's Pearl Trinket. I don't know it was Pinball. So this time I'm not gaining the Trinket. I don't really know why. I don't know why I gained it before. I can't remember. There's going to be a lot of forgetting going on right now. Okay, these guys need to go. Okay, we got it back. Yeah, it just does a ton of damage. Just going to take this. I, I think pills are too risky. There's already a lot of risks on this run. <laughs> Look at that pinball. All these pinballs are amazing. That one's just completely stuck. It seems to just be like a random chance on kill. I think that's what it was. I think it was like a 17% chance on kill or something. But basically, as soon as that procs, everything dies. Which is quite nice. Um, on hit, get that until next room. Get two times athletes for every devil deal. Get might as well take it. Why not? 
Ooh. Ooh, two times athlete's foot gave us a pretty harsh speed down that I wasn't really expecting. I'll accept it, but it's not great. Um, Two tiers, each boss killed 12% chance to spawn 12 hearts. Gimme. So far, this is going extremely well. I just, I'm not a big fan of 0 0.4 speed, I've got to be honest. This feels like I'm being punished for being alive. <laughs> oh, dude, no. That was really close. I tried to bomb this and accidentally walked the bomb out of the way. But our tears are really high right now, which is pretty awesome, especially with pinball. Oh, that was a pretty sexy herming shot you got going on there. But yeah, I love the fact that people like the deleted so much. It's been a character that I've been wanting to add to my series for so long. And thank you very much to Nevernim for not only doing the sprite for it, that was a bad hit. But also, going the extra mile and doing all the additional sprites for it too. Which he didn't need to do, he just wanted to do. Which is awesome of him. Go pinballs. Yeah, this speed is going to be the thing that gets us killed. Oh! Ha ha ha! Little corrupted baby! I was not expecting that. was not expecting a corrupted little fella in here. On dad's key, get a blue fly. On whatever the ball is, some of the timer. Uh, on... That's not actually that good. I reckon we cleanse that, but let's leave it for now. Um, every 10 seconds, spawn nine throwable bombs. That's not... For, I'm just gonna, that, one's, that one's one that I'm just going to completely leave. I will bomb this to see if we get a corrupted version of this, which I don't think we will. But I've got to at least check it. Ow. Taking a lot of damage right now. I need a lot more health. Very, very rapidly. Oh my god. Okay, that isn't corrupted. I didn't think it would be, but I, I best to check. This I'm going to cleanse. This is the first thing I'm going to cleanse. Just because it, the, the, the clean version is a hell of a lot more valuable. I do think we are, we are within the realms of possibility of dying. Um, I'm hoping not, but our health is pretty bad, and with our speed being so insanely low, it's certainly not without the realms of possibility. I'm hoping we get some spirit hearts here, though. And we did indeed. We got two. That's huge. I love pinball. I don't know if having more of the pinball item increases our chance for pinball shots, but I hope it does. We also got a curdled heart there. This guy's going to give us a nice little hug. Thank you. We do have the Trinket Smelter dude, but I don't think he's super useful for us right now. Let's keep it going. I love all the unique hearts and stuff that gets added by, by modding. By the way, I never realized that your mini Isaac scaled with your speed, but that seems to be what's happening. Oh my god. Whatever that Trinket is, it's nuts. I d I I'm not actually sure if it's the Trinket's effect itself, or it's something to do with the deleted way of gaining that trinket that's causing that. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy. Um, Imp Soda itself is really good. But also, we gain two trinkets here. We also get a gift card, which is really nice. I'm just going to take it. I'm not sure what the two trinkets we got do, but I'll be happy with them nonetheless. And we also got a gift card here, which... Isn't going to be super useful for now, but I'm sure we'll find a way to make it useful. Yeah, surprisingly, this, this guy's been very good to us so far. I, I thought this guy would be troublesome, but we've not had any really bad negative effects show up so far. Um, I'd rather see my shot before I commit to that, but I, I would very much like to grab that. Well, that guy's big. That's, that's a big turdy boy. A big ass teddy boy. We got potato. Um, spawn three golden bombs. Instead of dying once, use two pills. That's pretty good, but we would lose damage. I think I'm going to leave that. Can we gift card it, actually? We can. Um, every kill. Spawn. Eh, that's not very good either. I suppose we could cleanse it.
cleanse it and get the actual. And then use that somewhere. In a secret room, maybe. We'll see if we can find a secret room first. I've not got too many prospects of that right now. This room could be a secret room. Like right here. Big sad. I'll try here as well. There you go. This is pretty good. We'll pop this. Decca bag. Um. We lose a lot of tears for this, but I'm going to take it. We didn't lose any tears. Good. I love the custom golden, uh, the custom golden fool's gold rocks, whatever they're called. The fact that there's custom ones is so good. But yeah, spawning 12 trinkets on entering the next floor gives us a nice variety of choice for our trinket slots. I think it's going to be real good for us. I'm having a lot of fun this run, if you can't tell already. Right, let's play this a little bit. Finally got it. Each floor use... Okay, that that's bad. I'm pretty sure that'll give us a broken heart every time if that's what that item does. Or is, mm, I'm not sure. I don't think we can take that. I'm pretty sure them dice... That's either Snake Eyes from... Um, from... What's his name? That character. Which will be with no chips, which means we'll get like fuck all good stuff from it. Or it's the other dice from... The cursed dice from... Mass stammer, which will give us a broken heart every room. So either way, I don't think it's a good idea. That's pretty good. We'll take that. And we shall head to the next floor. Incoming 12 trinkets to choose from. Seems to have a very trinkety uh, way of playing this character. Sigil of Baphomet is 100% the one we take right now. It's going to be crazy good. I don't know what this guy does in the uh, middle. Oh, he spawns ghostly boys. How have I not killed anything in this room yet? That's a really cool enemy. I really like that one. Beautiful. Cleanse is ready again in case we need it. I think I got hit there. I'm not entirely sure what happened. On my little puddings. Ooh, what, what, what book is this that we got? Oh, damn. Um. Oh, this is removes a random item we get to choose, right? I, I can't remember exactly. Take this. I don't know what I lost. Probably a bad idea to use that because we can we could lose some very integral pieces to our build. But I don't know. Could be kind of fun. Oh lord, what what has caused What has caused this? I think it's on picking up a key. We've gone infinite already. I don't know what I did, but we've gone infinite already. Where did you come from, Hurst? Yeah, we've gone infinite here. It happens sometimes to this character. I want my sigil back. I'll probably get as much health as possible before I leave this room. Everything else is kind of secondary. It's very, very hard to find where my sigil is. It's somewhere in here. I got hit and everything rerolled. Oh lord. What have I done? What have I done? I, I'm, I'm trying to get out of the room right now. I, I, I promise you, I am. I, I don't even know where I am. I got Cricket's head somehow. Just let me out. Hmm, <laughs> that is, uh... 
I would have liked Sigil. I literally don't know where it is anymore. Oh, I see it. I see it. Make a mad dash for Sigil. Stop moving, Sigil. I see you. I can't get it. It's, 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 it's gone. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't pick up keys anymore. That will end poorly for us. By the way, I may have picked up items during that. I don't know. Also, don't use this book. It's going to cause some crazy shit. <laughs> But this was uh, entertaining, to say the least. I think we've caused quite the ruckus. But yeah, basically any time you get anything where... On, on picking something up, it spawns something. But picking that up can give you a chance to spawn that exact thing. You, uh, you have a very good chance of going infinite. And going infinite isn't always a good thing on these characters. What's left in this room? Is there enemies left in this room? Just you two. Um, yeah, got a lot of ice souls there, that could be good, especially with pinball. I don't know if having multiple ice souls makes any difference, but happy to have them. We also got two Spear of Destinies too, which is kind of nice. Kind of an interesting room design there. I love the fact that once we get that golden chamber thing. It just insta-kills everything. Still don't really know what's causing that, but we'll take it. Yeah? Spawned a lump, but I think we can deal with a single lump. They're lovely lady lumps. Right. Keep going. This run is... This run is basically, like, over now, unless we grab an item that really messes things up. Which we could definitely end up doing. But the damage we're outputting is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Delete it now. A range down? Oh, no. Pentacles. Ooh, this would be a fun item to just grab. I think I'm going to cleanse this. It's just a fun item, in general. Bunch more trinkets here. I'm still sticking with the sigil. It's too good not to. There might be a few other modded ones that I end up taking later on down the line, but right now, this is all I want. Get the hell out of here. Don't pick up keys. <laughs> That's something we have to constantly remind ourselves of. Picking up keys will lead to disaster. Luckily, everything else seems to be fair game. Don't think we need to worry about much else. Try and bomb that bad boy. Oh, we got some copper bombs in there. Don't know when we got copper bombs. Oh, crawl space. Hello. Was not expecting that. It is not a good crawl space, mind you. Oh, wait, no. I think there was an item in there. We just got Curse of Blight. But I think we already killed the thing that we needed to grab the item. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we already killed the thing we needed to do this. Oh, well. Whatever item that was, we don't want it. Probably don't want to take any... Anything this floor that could jeopardize us, to be honest, anyways. I do want to quickly do this, Peace. though. Ace of Cups. Wasn't actually as many Ace of Cups procs as I'd have liked there, but I'll accept it. I love our purple tears as well. They're great. 
Yeah, we can't really be taking items right now. It could it could lead to disaster. This was a bit of a bust. Trying to use the Spear of Destiny as well when we can. It's not super useful for us. Oh no, I picked up a key. Double my number of keys. I think we'll be okay. Um, lots of mini Isaacs is nice. We'll check what this has got going on. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't take them. We can't. Yeah, don't go infinite in this room. That'd be bad. Yeah, if we ever need health, all we need is a single key to get us out of the mucky water, essentially. A single key will uh, allow us to regain infinite amounts of health. <laughs> I love those bouncing around. Also, I love my absolute army of mini Isaacs right now. It's very fun. How should we get ourselves up to 6.5 luck at some point? I think we have an item that we gain luck every few minutes or something, if I remember correctly. Good, good. Oh, you're still alive. I think we're going the right way here, to be honest. Sigil is saving my ass most of the time, to be honest. I get one kill and the rest of the room is kind of done for. Yeah, this is definitely the right way. If I'm wrong, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, Sigil, it's just nuts. Wow, I am wrong. I'm very surprised. No, to be fair, it could still be down this door here. Goddamn underground, boys. <laughs> the little horns are beautiful. We've had quite a few of those. And our luck is increasing as well, again. So we're going to be firing out more little horn shots. Yeah, it was this way, good. I wasn't wrong completely. I was only slightly wrong. I haven't seen many new bosses recently. In actual boss rooms. I've seen them outside of boss rooms, but not actually in boss rooms. Why do we keep getting this goddamn Care Supply? I can't take items on Care Supply. It's too dangerous. Could get something that's just like every one second lose a heart. It would ruin everything. Everything we've fought for here. Oh, there's, see, look. New boss not in a boss room. That keeps happening. But in actual boss rooms, we barely ever see him. He should, like, um, spear out a bunch of those little white spiders when he dies. It just looks like he's got a head full of them. Ooh. Little skull thing fired there. I wonder if there's going to be, like... I know that Fiendfolio already has literal hundreds, like, like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of rooms. But I wonder if anyone's going to make, like, modded room packs that, like, include other enemies as well. Also, what's with all the yellow buttons? Yeah, that include, like, other uh, mods enemies and, like, mixes. Flea Circus. Interesting. Beautiful. Get a bunch of those casing things. And everything dies. Sometimes, like, we don't get it for the entire room. Other times we get it instantly and it just kills everything. Also, yeah, I love the fact that you can destroy grimaces with a little horn. Die, fool. I'm guessing this was the wrong way. No, no, maybe not, maybe not. Ow. That was a bad hit. Ooh, that's this kind of an interesting room. One of these guys in the center, invincible. I think normally that would be kind of a tricky room, you know. Luckily, Sigil plus our insane damage meant it was not. Still one of my favorite enemies. I always say it when I see them, but it has to be said. Yeah, don't worry about me, guys. You can't destroy me. I didn't realize, by the way, that the... Uh, the black sacks and the heart, the, like, the heart sack things are both variations on sacks. The ones filled with spiders as well as the ones filled with hearts. It's cool to see that they can replace sacks. Good 
good. I think we can probably stand relatively close and be mostly fine. We did get hit pretty much straight away as I said that, but like I said, getting hit doesn't matter all too much for us. We'll take check the engine. I don't think we want to do hush. Um, spawn 24 hearts on rotten hearts, spawn three random machines on hit. Yeah. So many mini Isaacs. I kind of love it. I don't know if they're doing much to help, to be honest, but I like having them around. They're cute. See, I want to do Hush, but I feel like it would take a while. But also, let's do Hush. Because why not? More items to get. As long as we don't get the bloody Curse of Blight again. Curse of Rebirth. Uh, every 10 rooms get... Okay, this is... I think this is a cleanse item. I'd like to have the, the normal version of that, to be honest. Um, that's kind of interesting. We'll take that. Back over here. Each boss kill spawn a trinket on active use. Each boss kill get golem stone. Everything's on our book use. I don't want my book anymore. Take it away from me. <laughs> I could kind of go for proptosis. See, look, everything's on, on thingy use. I don't want that. Right. First of all, Let's cleanse this. I think we want this. And we'll pick between these two. I think we want this. Right. Let's go. Let's diddly go. Yeah, my book is just too difficult to use. We've also got bugger tears from God knows where. I don't know what's giving us bugger tears. We've got more of my curses, but that's not bugger tears. So, a bit confused about that one. I'll take it though. Did we just get addicted? I mean, I... Wait, does addicted... I don't know how addicted works on wound flaws, I'll be honest. Do we now take double damage? Or do we still just take one full heart? I think we take double damage, don't we? Also, based on how long this has taken, I think the actual fight's going to take a while. We got an item here. But at the same time, I think with the amount of bugger tears and Muramai Cursor shots, we're going to stick to him. Shouldn't take too long. It should stack up decently well. Another addicted. Eh, we're not doing a turn, are we? It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Certainly not as crazy as I'd liked it to be. I could use bombs, but I feel like I'm just going to knock them about all over the place. Yeah, they're, they're pretty easy to shoot straight, actually. Only he'd pop up out the ground. I think when we drop a bomb, it explodes and drops another bomb. Not, It doesn't seem to be every time, but... Oh, is that from Blasting Cap? I think it is. Yeah, this will give us a bit of a... I was going to say this will give us a bit of a shield from our trinket, but maybe not. The music in this boss fight is very banging, I've got to say. Okay, going kind of slow. I was thinking maybe my um, like the, the, the bullet trinket that keeps showing up in inventory, the golden one, that maybe that would just insta-kill him at some point, but that doesn't seem to have been the case. I have a really hard time telling what's his shots and what's mine right now. We're all purple. It's so hard to tell. We've got him just below half now, though. Not taking too long. We have taken quite a few hits and a few more to come. I, it's so hard to see what's what. 
I have no idea what's what. A bunch of red hearts on the floor there. Don't know how useful that is to us. Okay. F flies are good because they give us a bit of invincibility. But they are a bit tanky, so they do take a bit to kill. Okay. Another probably minute, I'd say, of fighting, and then we'll be good to go. And then I'm going to go play some Brotato. After this, that's exactly what I'm going to go do, because I'm excited about that game right now. If you, if, By the way, if you haven't watched that series at all, please go and do, because I'm probably going to be keeping it running for a little while here, especially while I'm enjoying it. Even if it's not getting crazy views, I still want to play it. But I would very much appreciate if you do go, did go and check it out. It's a very fun game. Not quite the same vibe as Isaac, definitely, but a lot of fun. Don't worry about those laser beams. Just just pretend they don't exist and they'll go away. Didn't really work, but we'll pretend it did. Oh god, I'm actually getting to the point now where I'm taking a significant amount of damage. Dude, I don't have the speed to get away from these lasers. And I can't ignore them anymore. Oh god. Well, that went pretty terribly. Delete. <laughs> that wasn't amazing. Is there any health for us out here that we could take? Kind of. We could maybe, as I was say, we could maybe just go infinite and try scale off of that. Going infinite in the shop. Try and get a health back here. There's a hero font card somewhere around here. There it is. Yeah, let's not get two traps in here. Also, let's go and drop my uh, sigil in this room just before things get too wacky. They're already pretty wacky. I need more health. There's not much health dropping. Yeah, things have gotten... A bit crazy. There isn't like any health in here, surprisingly. Before there was loads. Oh no, we've reached critical mass. When everything starts moving, that's when you know you need to get the hell out of there. Okay, we didn't really get much from that, but we'll go. We'll leave anyways, because things are getting a little crazy. That's a lot of um, Serpent's Kisses. I will take them. But that is quite a few. Bunch more trinkets. <laughs> okay. Hello, laser fellas. Don't worry, Sigil will save me. It will not save me from going the wrong way, though. I don't know where all these ex excess stats have come from. We got a ton of excess stats, and I have absolutely no idea what what's caused them to uh, arrive in our uh, possession. Okay, nice. Excuse me, greed donation machine. I need to get by. Every time we kill a boss, apparently we're going to get a uh, trinket. I think and a greed donation machine. Or is that just from picking up that item? I'm not sure. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Oh, did not mean to go in here. I think we've probably won this run. Especially, I was about to say, if we can get some more HP, but... There, soul hearts. Good, good. Another hero font card is somewhere. 
There you go. Okay, good enough, good enough. Get out of there. One key leads to craziness. And we didn't even cleanse that many things this run either. We just got really lucky with our downsides. We got barely any. We got, um... Look, error walk every 10 seconds, spawn a random beggar. Yeah, why not? Every 10 seconds spawns a random beggar sounds fun. I'm sure it's going to get me hurt at some point, but I'll accept it for what it is. Boss time. You still going down, sir. Okay, luckily the beggar doesn't spawn on top of me. We got a demon beggar and he spawned in the other side of the room there, so we at least know we're safe from insta hitting, inst getting insta hit by a, um, a demon beggar. Thank you. We'll pay into you as well. Unfortunately, I can't line up with you to keep playing you quickly. Would have been nice. Um, yeah, we'll just take that. I mean, we could just stay here and play infinite beggars to get HP. And other items. Um, <laughs> okay. Only one of these actually had an item in it. It's strange. I'll accept, um... You get taken care of. Don't try and bomb me. Oh, with Azazel now? I don't like that. I do not want to be Azazel right now. That is inconvenient and inconsiderate. Oh, beggar spawned flying. Yeah, I do not like being Azazel. Also, apparently, we're not allowed to have items. A lot of the items are just getting straight removed, and I don't know why. Um. Strange. I don't know what's going on here. Because if I go into Mega Satan and get Azazel, I'm going to be sad. We have a good amount of luck now, though. I'll say that. Come on, give me some health. My parts don't count. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've just lost all the health I gained. This is very confusing. Put this down. Make sure we don't die in there for one. I don't think we can die now with our own red health, though, to be honest. There's just so many hearts in here. That jammed in a single fucking penny. There's probably a bunch of cards in here which could give us a ton of health. There's also beggars fucking everywhere. Things have gotten out of control in here, haven't they? I've entered the boss room by accident. It is what it is. God damn. Delete this. That's pretty cool. G g get the fuck out of my way, please. Oh god. I just want out. Thank you. 
Maybe I'm just a Zazel permanently now. Either way, it's not a wholeheartedly terrible thing by the look of it. My goodness. Right, let's try and do Mega Satan. I have a feeling we're going to die doing that, but hey her, we're in it now. I'm not sure if I should t stick with what I have now or change up what I've got going on. Boss disc. Burn heart. I guess we go infinite again one more time. Why not? It's only fair. There's another Hierophant card somewhere. Is it this one? It is. Now let's try and find a card that could help us. Tainted Treasure Room Disc. I'm going to put that in here. Do I really want to step back into this beast of a room? I think we're good. I think we're good. Ah, oh, damn it. We lost health right as we left. I want to be at full health before we... Uh... Good enough, good enough. Let's get out of here. Right. Send a treasure room disc. Go. Grab this. Get in here. Bunch of tables and chairs about. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. We'll see. We're at full health now, though, so it's the best chance we've got. Oh, also, the trinket that I brought in here is now gone. Whoopsie. Don't know what happened to it. Don't know if I have the time to care. Uh, excuse me? What the fuck? I can walk through walls? That's kind of cool. I don't know how useful that is, but it's kind of cool. Okay, I think we're good. We've also got a bunch of jellos just spawning in, and that's going to be firing extra shots, so I kind of like that. I don't know where they're coming from. But we're getting a lot of them. Also, that's a lot and a lot of hearts for us to play around with. I like that. But yeah, apparently if we just walk over, we can just come out the other side. That's pretty awesome. Also, our jellos do not like that. <laughs> that's amazing. They do not like that at all. To be honest, the game doesn't like this. We're at 22 FPS right now. But what else would you expect from a deleted room, really? Ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking all the hearts. I think I think the hearts when we kill bosses, we get a trinket and a heart every time we kill a boss. And every segment of this guy counts as another boss. So there's just hearts everywhere, which means we're nigh unkillable now. The only thing is, there is a ton of items around that I can't really avoid picking up. Yeah, this is getting a little bit crazy. And there's just so many trinkets and so many items. Golem's Rick. Just so much of Golem's Rick around. We have a lot of mini Isaacs as well. I, I don't really think we are able to actually participate in this run. The game is just doing what it does. Just, just for reference, we only just lost our disc. That is how slow the game is playing. We've been playing this fight for about three minutes. And we only just lost our disc, which lasts for 60 seconds. I've not even aimed at this angel once and it's already dead. I'm scared the game might crash. We're down to 14 FPS. 12. 11. It's, it's getting lower and lower. 
Okay, all the mini bosses have spawned now. Surely. Surely we can just kill you now. There's too many rocks about. I'm just standing perfectly still and hoping for the best. Letting my little mini dudes, my Geminis, not Geminis, Jellos, Gellos, whatever you're going to call them, basically perform everything themselves. Yeah, you've hit me with a laser beam. I'm going to pretend I don't care. The visual effects are uh, getting a little saucy here. I'd like to pick up that trinket, but apparently I picked up a trinket that I can no longer draw. First phase is done. I wonder how long the second phase is going to take. Probably a while. I also honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to dodge everything. The good thing is we got red hearts aplenty here, but there's so many items in this room that I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to physically pick up the red hearts because I'm going to be running into the items so often. We're just going to play it by ear, see what happens. We're down to 10 FPS now. Game is not liking me today. Runs like this are hilarious though. Half of the course nowadays. Imagine if you could play this without lag. It would be just glorious. So glorious. We got addicted there for some reason. I'm going to try and grab a red heart here. I managed it. He's not even down to half yet. Remember the game would be playing at three times the speed regularly. So he'd be dead long, long ago by now. He's firing off stuff. I'm not ever seeing anything that he fires come towards me. Oh, uh, actually, I see a few things there. They're probably going to hit me. Okay. Will we even be able to get into the victory chest is another thing. We've been hit a ton of times and not actually taking any damage. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Two more little health bars. Or three more, should I say. And he's dead. It's just a waiting game at this point. We already know he's dead. We already know we've won. We just gotta play the game. The waiting game, that is. Oh no, we took some more damage. Right, he's dead. You bastard. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We got it in it. Well, that was interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.